It's warm tonight. Got a red face. Been cooking. Now it's time for some crisps and beer. Tonight we're going to be looking at Algood's 1795 Cambridge IPA. Dark. So maybe black IPA or dark IPA. Uh, and the alcohol by volume is coming in at 4.7% ABV. I believe I picked this up in Aldi, uh, black bottle cap. And we're going to be pairing it with some McCoy's brand new Muchos. Smoky chili chicken. They look amazing. First of all, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Dark IPA, what am I expecting? Of course, IPA, 4.7% uh, ABV. For me, this type of IPA at the alcohol by volume, being a dark IPA gives off a clue that it should be quite hoppy. Uh, reason being is back in 2013, 2012, 2013, uh, black IPAs were very popular. I'm expecting this to be hoppy. It's got a one finger slightly off white head. Yeah, it's a dark ale. And it's quite clear looking. Clear as in there's no, it's, it's an, un, it's a filtered beer. There's no bits and pieces. It's not a bottle conditioned beer with its bits and pieces floating around. Aroma. Yes, definitely hoppy with a nice slight roasted malt aroma. I'm going to put that down for a second, get the crisps up. Smoky chili chicken. Look at them. It's really good. So look at it. Kind of bits and pieces. Maybe that's some, maybe some, hopefully, chili flakes. Mmm. Yeah. Yes, in terms of they're nice. And there's a bit of a spicy kick going on. Mmm. Texture, really crunchy. But light. Mmm. Yeah. These are proper grown-up crisps. Proper grown up chip crisps. There's a nice level of spice coming through from these. The chicken is lovely. The flavour, the chicken flavour is lovely. It's a bit like roast chicken crisps if you've had them. But with some chilli spice on there. And they're wrapped nachos. So they're, or folded nachos should I say. Inspired by the street food kitchens of Mexico. Hundred and eighty grams. Spot on. I like my spicy food. Spicy food should go really well with this beer. Let's pair it. Oh, it's uh, yeah, peppery, hissy, fizzy. It's just reacted. The food's. The spiciness in my mouth has reacted with the beer. Just give off quite a fierce kind of carbonation hit. Now the hops are really coming through. Amazing, really. I've had a big mouthful of this beer, and, and the, the hops have really made their presence felt in this beer. A little bit of roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours coming through. But it's all about, really, a mixture between that dark roastedness the, from the roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours and a really nice hoppy kick on the back end. As I said, 4.7% ABV. It's got a nice, it's quite drinkable. It's quite a drinkable beer. I could certainly whop down a couple of these on a Friday night, which it is. It's a Friday night. 2019. This beer for me, it's drinkable, it's very refreshing, but it could be something else. 
And what I mean by that is it could be something else in terms of it could be drinkable, refreshing, but on the other hand, if you really want it to be a, a bit of a kind of more of a slow drinkable chill out with a newspaper beer, take your time to drink the pint, it could be that as well. It's got a, it, it, it's a mixed mouth feel. I'm, I'm trying to make sense of all of this now. It can be refreshing if you wanted to, you could gulp it down, refresh yourself, or chill out and enjoy the mouth feel. It's, it's kind of in between. The beer, I'm gonna rate it, Cambridge IPA Dark. For me, yeah, that's, it's nice. It's a nice beer. It's a seven out of 10. But for me, the crisps are the real deal here. They're really good. These Moochos are my new favorite crisps. By McCoy's. Mm. Really good. Rating for the, oh, I'll give the beer a rating. The rating for the Moochos. Uh, nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.